big one out there. But bloody hell, you didn't think to tell me about Chosen? I thought about it, but then I also thought it'd be more fun to pull a Tavish on you. Not the same. You don't know how to do a Tavish. Either way, I couldn't risk it getting out. We needed any advantage we could get against them. Well, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I have a message from WWE management. What does Shawn Michaels have to say for himself now? No, not Shawn. This came directly from the top. All this faction warfare has been big for ratings, so they want to see it continue. There will be a faction versus faction match to determine who gets to pick your stipulation at SummerSlam. Our side against Shawn's. War games. We've already been in a battle. I guess now, it's time to go to war. Did you see I'm the number one trending topic? What a WWE debut for Chosen. Yeah, that's great. But more importantly, you helped me live to fight another day. So thank you. Where I'd have been watching you get beaten up so much, and you seem so desperate when you reached out asking for help that it was kind of a no-brainer to come save you. Yeah. Well, thanks again, I guess. Anyway, I don't know if you heard what Tavish said. I was standing five feet from him. Of course I had. Your two of us is kind of small, actually. Noted. Point is, I need one more team member for the War Games match. You interested in sticking around? Of course. Have to keep the buzz going on social media. And to help you too. Alright. Let's do this. The following is a men's War Games match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins. The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the War Games begin! Every war needs a hero. And you might be looking at him. It's the former lock. Introducing first from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 310 pounds, the Phenom. After everything he's been through, I'm starting to think this man is indestructible. SummerSlam keeps getting hotter and hotter, adding explosive twists and turns every week. Incredible athletes like Japanese Phenom Chosen, who's suiting up alongside the former Lock tonight in one of the most anticipated War Games matches in WWE history. Uh, my question, is Chosen even allowed to compete in WWE? All's fair in love and War Games, Saxton. Both foursomes are clearly willing to do whatever it takes with the WWE title match's stipulation hanging in the balance. Let the games begin. All right, 
backbreaker. Up him up. Into the cutter. A lot of momentum now on his side. Yeah, and he's showing no signs of ending this assault. Uh-oh. It's Zulerian. Uh-oh. Bookend. Good night. Booker stole from Rock. The count has started, and one team is about to have the odds in their favor. Being let loose to surely become the tide turner for their team. Runner! Things could get ugly now as they head inside the cage. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Bloody cross. My, oh my, what elevation. He begins to climb the wall of the War Games cage. Down with the cutter. Going up the cage now, must have some sort of strategy in mind. Here's the cutter! Starting to scale up the War Games wall. He's got something in mind. And we've seen what guys can do off of the side of that cage. I sense danger for everyone coming. The timer is running out, and this next competitor will equalize things inside the cage. Got to minimize the damage now. Go help your teammates immediately. Again! Good oh, night. Booker stole from Rock. Here it comes. Uh-oh. With the cage door closing, this match is now an even playing field. Oh, this is not good at all. The... Pendulum backbreaker stretch. Turning the tables there. Goal! Slade doesn't look like he has any fight left in him. Uh oh. Batten down the hatches. Slade survived this. Elbow smash. Ooh, catches him with a cover. And a heck of a DDT we just witnessed. Oh, no. Not possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. I'm going to tap out here, but it ain't going to matter. They still do a lot of damage, though. Paul himself up on top of the... He wins with a devastating submission. Oh, no. And the hits to the core keep coming. As if the numbers advantage wasn't enough. Looking under the ring for a weapon now. Bad predicament right here. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. Into the corner. This can't be good. Clubbing blows. He's already bringing the numbers advantage, but he wants something more. Sent him clear into the other ring. Climbing up the wall now, and he's got some crazy idea in mind from the looks of this. Looks like they're bringing additional firepower with them into what is now essentially a handicap match. Suplex! Entering the ring and assessing the situation. And some effective offense with that one. This 
won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. Oh, the bear hug, and a way to get out of it is being on display right there. Mere seconds away from evening the odds in war games. Knee lift! And here we go. They're on a mission to save the day and won't be stopped. the opportunity to truly fight back. He's headed up. Might be going toward the top of this whoop. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. Oh. Thunderous! That might have knocked Breaker out for good. Dragon screw. That'll tear your knee up. <laughs> oh, shot right to the kidney. Woods is feeling it, and he doesn't care who knows. Believe it or not, 
Riddle's a master at getting into opponents' heads. Just watch. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. And that was an effective attack, guys. One after another. Climbing up the wall now. And he's got some crazy idea in mind from the looks of this. Something and that was a well executed attack, and that was an efficient. Decision. Here he goes for the win. Then he closed it out. Kick out just before two. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. I knew it. I didn't think it was possible, but the road to SummerSlam keeps getting hotter and hotter, adding explosive twists and turns every week. And incredible athletes like Japanese Phenom Chosen, who's suiting up alongside the former Lock tonight in one of the most anticipated War Games matches in WWE history. Uh, my question, is Chosen even allowed to compete in WWE? All's fair in love and war games, Saxton. Both foursomes are clearly willing to do whatever it takes with the WWE title match's stipulation hanging in the balance. Let the games begin. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much force. And that was an effective attack, guys. One down by the throat. Backbreaker. What a lethal combination there. Up him up. Crash landing face first. He's able to sidestep there. Up across the shoulder. With a Samoan driver. Timer's almost up. This next entry gives their team the advantage inside the cage. to amaze me. Holding cages open, and away they go, ready to get into the action. sir! And now having to deal with that weapon is like going up against two competitors at once. And entering into an absolute war zone, giving the troops the boost they need. The springboard attack fails to land. Here he goes, right into the corner. Oh, flapjack. Gosh, landing face first. Up him up. Crash landing face first. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Uh-oh. Bookend! Good. Right. Booker stole the rock. Boom! Oh, my God. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Oh. Going up the cage now. Must have some sort of strategy in mind. And that was a precisely measured attack. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable...
Door swings open and out they come. And their team could definitely use their help. Ooh, hey. Hey. Ooh. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. Submission locked in. Going to town on the back. I have no idea how he hasn't tapped out yet. All the heart, all his desire being put to the test. Oh, he wants himself in the rock. Look at this, he let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Oh, God, face first. He gets manhandled over into the opposite ring. Oh! Face first into the chair. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Getting carried. I'm sure what they're thinking. We see it. You're very scary. Springboard misses the target. The cover. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. Set up in the corner of the ring. The crowd is counting it down. Next entry will tip the scales. And, and now he's looking to lock in this submission. He got in there. Good save. And come on now. Distasteful offense we've just witnessed. On the back of the neck, what's coming here? He's still having an answer for everything. And walking through the structure door, this is where nightmares become reality. There comes the setup, double underhook. Looking to 
change the landscape of this match. Kendo stick impact. Oh, man. Boom. Searching under the ring now. This can't be good. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh, right to the throat. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Full control here. Dominating shoulder tackle. Good night. And a strong impact. Time to flip it. Things are no longer about to be even in this one, and he wants to make sure of that. Riddle taking his eyes off the task at hand to look across the Brokers. Climbing into the ring, pretty much entering a war zone. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. And well timed maneuver there. Got it. My left sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Sent flying over to the other ring. He went right into that turnbuckle. Seconds left before the odds are even here. Rolling neck snap. Oh, loving mark. Ooh, the forearm connects. Charging toward the ring and looking to even things up. And there was some force on that move. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. Stop. He foiled that attempt. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not. It all comes down to this. Win the title at SummerSlam, and you're golden. Set for life, probably. Lose? Eh, uh, well, you're finished. Done. Ruined. Gone forever. What happened to the Tavish who once told me there was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE? I'm trying a different approach. Is it working? Not really. All right. Have you decided what type of match you're going to pick? Because I was thinking... You should choose the safe match. As in, like, the safe choice? I'm not sure what that would even be. No. I mean a new match type I came up with called a safe match. You win by locking your opponent in the safe that you had in your WWE debut. Everything comes full circle. It's called long-term storytelling, mate. <laughs> Do you love it? I'm not sure. Well... If you can't make up your mind about the match type, we at least need to know who's going to be in your corner. The faction started a pool on who you're going to pick. Go with Chosen, and drinks are on me. No offense to anyone else, but I think he gives me the best chance to take the title. Seriously? Not Chosen won the pool and he's never going to shut up about it. But yeah, 
Good choice. It's been a bit, but here we are, wrapping things up with SummerSlam approaching. You mean you're not going to follow me around the rest of my career? <sighs> Everything has to come to an end. I mean, I know viewers think they want a super long story that goes on and on forever, but really, isn't something shorter with an actual ending better? It's like, you have this cool experience, and then you can go watch something from the women's division, right? Anyway, we're getting off track. SummerSlam's in LA, of all places. <sighs> I know. It's a chance at redemption on so many levels. I'm back in the main event, but instead of a bunch of empty seats this time, we're the biggest thing in town and it's sold out. It feels good. What about the match stipulation though? I might be reading into this too much, but are you putting off making a decision because it means the match is officially here and if you lose, you'll be faced with leaving WWE? Not at all. Despite my recent success, I'm going to need to do everything I can to win. So, I've been keeping the match stipulation to myself as a strategic advantage. Makes sense. But what are you going to choose? You're going to have to announce it sooner than later. If you need an answer, it's going to be an Extreme Rules match. I don't want any restrictions stopping me from doing whatever I need to do to beat Slade, win the championship, and hang on to my job. Solid choice. And if this is it, well, it's been fun. And weird. Mostly fun, though. Hope to see you around. Around here, I mean. Yeah. You too, Kat. So final thoughts heading into SummerSlam. Will you walk away champion and end your former friend's WWE career? Or will he somehow overcome the odds and beat the deadline? <laughs> Are those the type of questions you typically ask? If so, I'm glad I haven't wasted my time doing more of these. But if you need an answer, The Lock is going to be looking for a job after SummerSlam. And let's get one thing straight. We were never friends. But I will take this opportunity to thank him. See, if he hadn't been such a failure and blown every opportunity that was handed to him, I might not be where I am today. So thanks for that. Confident, despite the fact that you didn't get to even choose the match stipulation. I don't care what kind of match it is. It could be a blindfold match, a, a, a lumberjack match, or a freaking padlock on a pole match for all I care. They all end the same. I win. Hey, we're on a tight schedule. So we need to make a call, one way or another. <sighs> Understood. No idea why Shawn Michaels' supergroup is assembled here, but I guess we're about to find out. Slade, I know this might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's time to do what we discussed. Bear with us. We have some business to take care of. What is going on here? I have a bad feeling about this. I know we talked this over. But now that we're out here, it doesn't feel right. Slade, we've been over this already. Just do the right thing. I can win the match at SummerSlam. Just give me the chance. It's been decided. We're going with Randy instead. 
So let's take care of this before it gets any more awkward. I know I can get the job done. I really didn't want to do this in front of the entire world. But if you need me to explain why you can't get the job done, then I will. For starters, the night The Lock returned to WWE, you overruled me by facing it. And then I had to intervene to save your championship. Or how about the time you got beat down backstage, which allowed this SummerSlam match to even happen in the first place. Or, more recently, when our factions battled in war games, you lost, allowing the opposition to choose the championship match stipulation. So, if you're not picking up on it, there's a common theme with you lately, losing. But we're not about to lose the most important match in WWE history. But you know who's all about winning and is a proven commodity? The Viper Randy Orton. So Slade, do what you've done your entire career. Be a team player and fall in line. I was not expecting to see this tonight. Me neither. This is flat out wrong. It's either that, or we'll make the decision for you. Don't do it, Slade. Come on. You're better than this. No, no, no. He, he's going to do it. This is absolutely disgusting. What a farce. And here comes the referee to count the pinfall. What a joke. And Randy Orton is your new WWE Champion. Unbelievable. I never thought we'd see a WWE Championship change hands like this, but here we are. You did the right thing. Look, I'm in shock too, but let's not forget the main event of SummerSlam has just been drastically altered. The challenger had game planned to face Slade, but will now be up against a much different opponent in Randy Orton. I agree, Corey. Beating the deadline was going to be difficult, but it just got significantly harder in my opinion. What do you want? Here to pull another last-minute swerve? No, actually the opposite. I'm proposing a gentleman's agreement. I'll be in Randy's corner and you have your backup and yours. But let's agree to keep the others out of this. No one else from either side gets involved in the match. And you expect me to trust you? I'm not sure I can trust you either. But that's how these things work. Where is this even coming from? Our two sides have battled enough leading up to this. It's time to settle it in the ring, one on one. And after we made the switch to Orton, I was confident we could do that. He doesn't need any extra outside help. Do you? 
No, I don't. But if you're trying to play some kind of 11th hour mind games, it's not going to work. I'm taking your paper champion's title tonight. We won't have to wait much longer to find out, will we? See you out there. You know, this last minute switch to Orton actually reminds me of the time. I was supposed to face the British Bulldog on WCW Saturday night, but then his dog bit him, so I ended up facing Vader instead. But you rolled with the punches and ended up getting the win? Oh no, it completely threw me off and I ended up losing in like 45 seconds. Again, you really need to work on your pep talks. To be fair, you've had a better part of a week to prepare, while I only had about an hour. It's much different. I hope so. It is different. And you are too. I've known that since the first time I ever saw you. You had it. That's something special I can't be taught. I separated you from the rest. Sure, there's been setbacks along the way, but they've only made you stronger and prepared you for this very moment. And now that you're at the finish line, they go and move it somewhere else. Big deal. You'll cross that line too. It's what you do. Now go out there and win the bloody match. That was a lot better. Ah, huh, you think so? I thought maybe it's a bit much. No. But the time for talking is over. Like you said, now I just need to go out there and win the damn match. <laughs>